Hey, what's up again, guys and girls, and welcome to our next episode on Ark Survival Evolved. So, uh, I think this is part three of our day one tutorial series, and uh, <coughs> today we're just going to cover the the rest of the stuff. So, what I've done here quickly is I've just put a fire in here. Um, I have put some uh, meat on the fire here, and you see I'm getting some cooked meat and charcoal. Um, I have also built a storage box, so that's just going to keep some of the stuff that I don't really need. I just don't want to. F this stuff doesn't take weight here, yeah, so I don't really worry about that. Um, but uh, just the the rest of the stuff I'm popping in there um, for a later stage. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get some hide, guys. We want to get hide. Um, so let's do that quickly. We're going to uh, equip our axe. And we're going to hit a, a dodo, I think. Huh? Let's kill a dodo. That's going to get us some hide nice and easily. Um, and we use our uh, hatchet to harvest hide. So there we've got 25 hide, which is really nice. This guy, I don't want to tackle with him yet. Um, although he's a herbivore. Or he's not a dangerous dino. I think uh, once you attack him, he will be quite dangerous. So let's just get some more, some more hide there as well. Okay, so... Now we're just going to put some more meat in the fire here, so we've got some extras. Um, can we put some more in there? Yes, we can. Great stuff. So while that's cooking, let's see what else we can craft here for us. So let's go make our bed. That's going to be a good one. And then we're also going to make mortar and pestle, because that's going to be good for making narcotics and uh, various other goodies like spark powder, etc. Okay, let's have a look. See, we have got our bed. Yay! Let's pop that down. So we've got a spawn point in case we encounter a raptor or a Dilophosaur. We can always still spawn in our little bed here. And there we go. I don't know if you can lie on these ones. No, it's only the beds. Okay. All right, this little Pteranodon is looking for trouble, but uh, we haven't leveled up enough yet. Um, I want to show you guys also how to get a Pteranodon uh, an easy, in the easy way. But that's going to take at least one more level to get that far in order to get that sorted for us. But uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll get that hopefully in this episode. Um, let's have a look-see and do some exploring. I'm just going to take my pick with me. I'm just going to take out some dodos as well on the way. Uh, get some more hide um, because I'd like to uh, craft some clothing as well. Um, and another good point to note, guys, is these roundish stones here. These contain some metal in them, but it is small amounts of metal, so don't expect uh, huge amounts if you're going to settle down here. All right, let's have a look, see what have we got here. Okay, so there's not much. It's pretty, pretty scarce on the island today. I wonder if that Dilophosaur is still wandering on that side. I don't know. We don't have clothing armor yet, so I'm just worried about the of taking one on so soon. Hmm. Okay, there he is down there. He's, there's two down there, and there's an oviraptor as well. They pretty harmless, or well, completely harmless, I should say. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we got those birds that steal stuff from you, so you don't want to go near those guys. There's a dodo down there. Let's have a look. Hmm. I don't see much here, guys. Let's see, maybe there's some fish. No, we don't need fish. We don't need fish right now, hey? We've got enough meat cooking on the fire to last us a few days. Hmm. Okay, let's go and maybe take out that dodo in the distance. I think that's going to be the best day, guys. We'll get some more hide. See if we can get enough out of these dodos to make some clothing. Got our hatchet. Sorry, Dodo. I need this more than you. Hmm. Okay, that parasaur is running. So obviously something's attacked him. It's probably one of those dillos that took him. Took a bite out of him. So we've got to be careful there. Okay, looks like we've 
We're making this place pretty scarce, eh? It's got like nothing, <laughs> nothing much left for us here. Okay, and not the end of the world. Oh, come on, get in the base. There we go. All right, let's have a look. See, um, yeah, we've got enough hide. Let's see how much hide do we have? Forty-one. That's nice. How much do we need for that? Oh, we need a little bit of stone. Okay, let's go get. Uh, let's go pick up some stones quickly. That's pretty easy. And then we can at least make our mortar and pestle. Because that's going to be very, very handy. I hate putting these on the floor, but yeah, at this stage, we've got no choice, guys. I normally put the mortar and pestle on the table because I need more stone. So I thought there was enough. Okay, well, let's grab some more. Ah, we've got our level up, guys. Yeah. That is going to be of great use to us. Okay. Uh, we have got 50, so we need another 15 stone. Let's go get that. That's how much is do we pick up? Five. Ten. And fifteen stone. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I'm just running back here just in case. Let's do that quickly. Mortar and pestle craft one. So let's go to our Ingrams quickly. Uh wait, no, let's go back to our backpack. We need to do our level up. So I'm going to level up my damage. And then I want to learn the bowler. That is going to be what we need to learn, guys. Bowler, bowler, bowler. Um, and then let's do a cloth. Let's do cloth pants. Okay. And we've only got one point left. So that's not the end of the world. We've got our bowlers. That's what I wanted. Uh, let's see. What do we need to craft our bowlers again? Uh, oh, we just need a little bit of stone, man. Let's do a few of those. Uh, is there still some stone around here? Whoa. Jeez, bud. Give me a fright there. Giant honeybee in item slot to tame. Okay. We are not near that stage yet. Okay, we've got two bowlers. Great stuff. <coughs> let's go to our inventory. We drag him into our hotbar. And let's go see what we can do with this. So, what we are going to look for, guys, is a pteranodon. So there's one up there. Let's see if he lands close to us. I'm going to equip my bowler. I see this Dilophosaur there. We must keep an eye on. Come on, buddy. Land for us. Let's just check on our meat as well. While we wait for that. Cool. We can put that out now. I'm going to put some more wood in there. And take the charcoal out. Let's just put the charcoal in there. Great stuff. Okay, so let's see. This pteranodon should come in for a landing soon. And then we are going to bowler him. Oh, no goodness. What's that? Oh, it's the oviraptor. This guy's very skittish. He doesn't do anything. He just gets a fright and runs away. See? There he goes. Looks like he's coming in for a landing, guys. We might just get one. Yay! Yes, he's in for landing. Let's bail this guy. Great, we take out our club and let's beat him. Hopefully we can whack him and knock him out. Come on, knock him out. Yes, we got him unconscious, right. So, what are we going to do now, guys? I'm just going to equip my pike just in case something comes. Okay, we've got to access his inventory to tame him. We've got some meat. Let's pop that in there. We've got some narco berries. I'm just going to split that in half. And then we just watch the taming bar at the bottom. You'll see it says taming 0%. Unconscious. It's coming down slowly but surely. And basically what's going to happen here, guys, is uh, you want to make sure that unconscious bar doesn't drop too low. And uh, whenever he's hungry, he will eat um, some meat that's in his inventory. Um, and then we obviously just have to guard him while that process is happening. So we can also access his inventory. We can see um, what health he has, stamina, the weight, uh, damage, movement speed, torpidity, etc. So it looks like we've got... This one's got uh, not really that much. Uh, melee damage is okay, but... Uh, 
I prefer stamina and weight on these guys um, because they're good for traveling around the island and to places where you need to get to. So, yeah, let's have a look. We're also going to need to learn how to make a saddle for him, but uh, that will do as we level up. Hmm. But yeah, I suppose you can act as some form of protection at this stage for us. Come on. So, also guys, depending on your server settings, it will also depend on how long it takes for these guys to tame. Um, I'm not sure what the settings are on my local one. I just sort of, I think I just went to the defaults really. Um, what is the, yeah, we wanted to use that mortar and pestle here, guys. That's just the other important thing. So let's put that down quickly. I oh, know, what was that? Is that just a blueprint? Uh, oh, no, that's, uh, oh, there it is. Silly me. There we go. That's what we wanted. I took the wrong thing. Okay, let's place that down here. Okay, and then let's see if we access this inventory. We can create narcotics and spark powder. So spark powder, you just put in flint and stone and then you can create some spark powder. Um, spark powder is used for multiple things in the game. Later on you're going to use it for gunpowder, um, all kinds of things. Charcoal is also useful for gunpowder. But uh, yeah, you use that much later on. Let's see if he's eaten anything. Yeah, he has, but his unconsciousness is dropping quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this bird some narco berries. So we just go hit E. Let him eat that a bit. Let's uh, bring his unconsciousness up a bit. There we go. And that'll keep him, uh, keep him down while we're taming him. Um, just so he doesn't wake up and our tame fails. Okay, how's our character looking? Oh, we're looking a little bit hungry. So let's uh, eat some cooked meat here. Cooked meat obviously is the... Uh, best meat in the beginning to eat um, out of all the meat. Once you can make jerky and that, um, you get a lot more um, from from eating that than you do from just normal cooked meat. And then obviously cooked prime meat also really is uh, is really nice and prime meat jerky. But uh, those are pretty rare, depending on if you're in a tribe or or not. Okay, you'll also see um, where it says a tam taming effectiveness uh, plus eight levels. Um, that normally is uh, depends also on how you've treated the dinosaur. Like we didn't use no, no, uh, narcotic arrows or anything like that on this dino. We actually beat them with a club. So that sort of reduces the taming effectiveness. Also, if you don't have narco berries, you can you can keep banging on the dinosaur, which will keep him um, unconscious. But also, it will reduce your taming effectiveness. So there's my one spear broke. I want to keep this guy because he's got valuable stuff in him. Let's use our hatchet today. Yes, thank you. Now we're going to be able to build a Pteranodon saddle. And the reason being is because these trilobites gave us some chitin, which is this resource here. Uh, we've also got some oil and silica pearls, which are used much later on as well. But very handy to keep on you um, from the beginning because we'll wait later on when you do actually need them. You're going to be like, oh, I can't find it anywhere. So, yeah, I just like to keep it makes the game easier later on. Come on, this guy must eat now. Um, let's just have a look, guys. I'm going to check in our Ingrams as well when we get to craft a Pteranodon saddle. Um, I think it's that one. So it's probably the next level, so we need to level up a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, leveling up, basically just crafting stuff, actually, will help you level up. Uh, I need, in any case, I need another spear. So I need some fiber and wood. So let's go get some of that quickly. Okay, and then some wood. Use our hatchet. Great. Okay. Let's check on our dino quickly. Let's have a look, see if he's okay. Yeah, he's nearly there, 64%, but I see still he needs a couple of berries as well just to keep him going there. So I gave him about four berries there. That should bring him up to a reasonable level. 
And you can go a little bit more here. Let's give him another two. That should... Yeah, that should keep him going. Okay, right. Then, um, yes, we wanted to create another spear. So let's make one of those. So we've got at least two spears in hand. Actually, let's make one more. So we've got three spears in hand. Those three spears will keep us... Ooh, and we can make our clothing. And those three spears will yeah, be enough in case one or two break while we... If we get into a scrap. Okay, let's put some clothing on. Yeah, I've got my new digs. How are we looking? 64% still. Hmm. There's a drop down there in the distance, but uh, I'm not going to chance it. Let's see, maybe there's something in the water here for us. It's got to watch out for piranhas. Ooh, there's another trailer bike, but no, they're too, they're too fast in the water. I could force feed him, he's taking forever. Ah, there we go. What's he on now? 92.6. Yeah, okay. Just gonna give him one or two more berries and then he will be ours. There we go. Lovely, guys. Lovely. We're gonna have a pteranodon. Um, we just need to get one more level up. One more level up, guys. I think it is two more levels up. Huh? I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's a Dillo. I don't know if we should take him on. I see he's got a buddy there. I'm worried his buddy comes and helps him. So we won't get involved there. If we find a loner, we might take him on. Let's just see. Let's get... To, ah, yes, baby. Let's level up. We want to level up our... Mm, I'm going to get damage again. Can we build the... Oh, it's a Carbonema saddle. No. I need the Pteranodon sandal, guys. Fiomia. No, that's not going to help us, guys. Dang, Nabbit. I really wanted to get us a Pteranodon in this episode. <coughs> but, um, yeah, so I suppose I'm halfway there. We've got, the, we've got the dino. We just need the saddle. We don't have the saddle at this point. We still need to level up quite a bit to do it. Um, and I think, yeah, I think in the next episode we'll, we'll do some leveling up. Um, build some, you know, build some, build it, expand a bit on our, uh, on our little hut here. Maybe see if we can uh, make a little balcony for us here, and just make it nice and and cozy while we while we get our levels up to explore. Because I think once we've got a saddle on this guy, it's going to be really cool in the sense that we can fly around without having to encounter too much danger, and uh, we can level him up nicely for. For stamina and that so we can go longer distances and a bit of weight as well i suppose is going to be important come on what should we call this guy uh, hmm i don't know i'm hitting a blank his wings look silvery so maybe no i don't know silver wing there nah. Silver Surfer, yeah. Let's call him the Silver Surfer when he wakes up. Here we go. Silver Surfer. Accept. There we go. Now we've got our Silver Surfer. I'm just going to change his behavior to uh, neutral. And I don't want him to follow me around. Okay. Right, and I just want to make sure he's not wandering. No, okay, perfect. So he's going to chill there. If anything attacks him, he'll attack it back. And uh, if anything attacks me, he'll take it on as well. So we've got a little bit of base protection there. Um, yeah, so guys, I think for this episode, that's it. We don't want to make it too long-winded. Um, we've got our little base set up nicely here. We are almost prepared. I think we were basically 100% prepared, prepared for a night. And uh, yeah. I think on the next day we will do some more stuff. Hopefully we can level up and get our saddle and move along. 
So uh, thanks a lot again for watching, guys. And once again, I will see you on the next one. Cheers.